What's up guys? Happy Saturday. So I just got a workout in and for those who've been following me, this is the first workout I've done <laughs> well, probably since before Thanksgiving, Christmas. So yeah, do calories count on the weekend? So if you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, if you follow my stories, we tend to go a little ham on the weekends. And I don't know, do you, don't you? Before I got into this lifestyle of let's decide to be healthy, I started my weekend on Friday, probably about five o'clock, had a couple drinks, and then I was like, no, I don't need to eat, right? This counts, right? It's alcohol. So you'd start drinking, and then at about maybe nine o'clock, you're with your friends, and you're like, oh my God, we didn't eat. We didn't eat anything. Like, let's start eating, right? And then you just start eating the carbs and anything that comes into play or you start drinking again and then before you know it it's two o'clock in the morning and you're sitting in front of whatever pizza delivers or whatever pizza you stumbled upon and you wake up the next morning like what happened so maybe it's just me or any other friend i've been friends with in the last 10 years but it happens and then you start saturday you're hungover and you're thinking why did i work out all week i just ate probably at like 4,000 calories worth of alcohol and food and now i'm supposed to work out but then you're like out and you're thinking like oh i'll get up tomorrow i'll work out right you're drinking you're having a good time like i'm gonna work out tomorrow and then saturday comes and you don't want to work out at all been there i did it for like I don't know, when did we start drinking? High school? Did it for a million years. So how did I go from partying all the time to being able to wake up on the weekends, work out and function? Well, it didn't happen like all of a sudden. I tried probably, I'm sorry, I'm still out of breath. <laughs> it's a 20 minute workout, but I can't breathe. So what did I do? I used to go from doing every diet you probably ever heard about, like every diet, you name one, drop one below, a diet you're doing, a diet you tried, a nutrition plan. I've done it. I've wasted money. I've gave it to my family members. I've pawned it off and said, I've tried this. I don't like it. Or I didn't even do it the right way. And I didn't get results because the weekend would come and I'd be like, what am I doing? I'm just going to eat everything in front of me. So how do you get workouts in on the weekend? And how do you keep results going through whatever season of the life of life you're in like I was just in the hospital and they were giving me high doses of IV steroids and if anyone was ever on steroids before you literally don't have a brain you want to eat everything in sight you are possessed by the devil and you just want to eat anything that's a carb chocolate everything and like how do you counteract that how do you get workouts in how do you if you can't work out lose weight um one thing I made non-negotiable of course my dog every time I want to come on here and talk to you my dog wants to go outside so one thing I've made non-negotiable, no matter what season of life I'm in, is you got to drink water. Like, it's just basic stuff. You don't need to buy a nutrition plan. You don't need to go on a diet. You just have to drink your water. And there are some people that I encounter, I talk to thousands of girls every week, is they don't like water. They can't drink it. They need a flavor with it. Just drink your freaking water, man. Get some lemon. Do something. Drink your water. Count how much water you're drinking. And just do it religiously. Something you have to do. And cut out whatever you're drinking. Like, say you are you you booze binge on the weekends. Like, you know you're going to do that. Watch what you're putting in your coffee. Watch what you're, you know, are you drinking tea? Stuff like that. Like, I'm not preaching. I'm just knowing what I do. I used to drink gallons and gallons of coffee creamer. I am a coffee creamer addict. And... I have to let this dog out. He's going to drive me crazy. I'm a coffee creamer addict, and I know I was putting gallons and gallons of coffee creamer in. So then I read the labels, right? And I knew I was drinking all chemicals, and I tried to get something a little bit healthier. So that was one thing I switched. Another thing was, are you working out? Go make pee-pees. You made me let you outside. Are you working out? So one thing I try to do is make sure, if you know you're going to eat a lot on the weekend, make sure you're working out. Because, okay calories in calories out like I said I'm not an expert this is just what worked for me if you know you're gonna have a million calories if you're going to the bar if you're going to a wedding get a workout in even if it's not your best workout ever it's something so my girls and I talk about this all the time get your workout in the morning anything is better than nothing that's why I like the workouts I do because you can do them at home like I said I just did one today I know I'm gonna eat more than I usually do because it's the weekend get your workout in and then you can take on your day water workout and then nutrition Okay, this is my favorite tip. Take notes, write it on your hand, keep it in your purse. No, I'm just kidding. So keto, there's keto, there's gluten, there's like, what do you even follow, right? Let's let this dog outside. What do you even follow? I followed all of them. I used to be a keto queen, right? I did keto for years and everyone's like, oh, why'd you do this? Because then when I'd eat my pizza on the weekend, I gained five pounds back by Monday. So what do you do if you're following keto, you're following this, that? 
what I like to do is I follow a macro-ish type plan. So really that's healthy eating, all food groups, and then when you do work out, you move your calories, protein, you move everything around your workout blocks. But then say I'm gonna eat really heavy on the weekends, right? This is my big tip for you. I'm gonna eat really heavy on the weekends. The day after, I might eat a little keto-ish, right? Keto-ish, so you're gonna stock up like a squirrel, Eat all your carbs the day before, and then you want to eat a little cleaner the next day. So I might take out my fruits that I would have ate the next day. I might take out a carb serving the next day because, like I said, I really didn't need that cake the night before. I really didn't need all that ice cream the night before, but I'm kind of like the next day I'm going to have an extra veggie serving. I'm going to have an extra protein serving to make up for the night before. Now, I'm not going to go on like a three-day all I'm going to do is eat keto, but I'm going to remind myself that the day before... I really ate more carbs than my body can burn off. And that was something that my mind didn't get for so long. Like, if you understand the way the, what food does for your body, so you need carbs and whatever, carbs is energy. If you're not burning that off, it's gonna turn into fat. So if you're not burning that off in your workout, if you're eating more than your body's allotted, it's gonna turn into fat. So if you ate all that at your party, it ate it all at the bar, you did whatever, eat a little lighter the next day. And that's how when I had my surgeries and everything, granted, I gained a little bit of weight, but it was a situation. I was able to keep my weight off and get back into my routine. So that is my favorite tip ever. Take it with you, put it in your pocket, hold on to it tight, and I hope it helps you this weekend. And then Monday, you could feel like a lean gazelle going into the work week, and you can have a stress-free weekend. So definitely eat your carbs, eat your cake, drink your wine, and then lean out going into Monday. There are things you could do. I'm not big into cleanses. I, I get caffeine withdrawal, I get a headache, I get witchy, and then I feel like crap, and I'm just sleeping all day. But there are ways to eat cleaner certain times of the week and eat a little lighter at other days of the week and you can get awesome results and still eat your pizza, still have your wine and still feel awesome. So if you want any information like that, let me know. I hope you're having a great weekend and what's the next holiday? Valentine's Day. I hope you're getting ready for Valentine's Day. Stay well. Love you all. Talk soon. Bye.